Cram's rule is proposed by Donald Cram in 1952. And this rule is about the stereochemistry of the nucleophilic addition to carbonyl carbon, which having alpha chiral carbon. The nucleophilic addition to this car carbonyl carbon, which having alpha chiral carbon. The chiral carbon is that carbon which have four different group attached to it. So these rules will tell about this stereochemistry of this nucleophilic addition. This model has some important rules which will be followed. Rule number one is that uh, assigning of a relative size to each substituent attached to the chiral carbon and this will be small, medium and large. This small, medium and large will be on the basis of their masses. If A have greater mass than B and C, so it will be assigned as large. If B have smaller mass than A but larger mass than C, so it will be assigned as M, medium, and C will be assigned as small because it have a lower mass than A and B. Now let's come to a rule number two. If large substituent is empty to carbonyl carbon, to carbonyl group, then attack of the nucleophile will be on the according to smaller substituent. Means that if the carbonyl group is empty to the larger substituent. In this case, phenyl is larger substituent because it have greater mass than methyl and hydrogen. And methyl is medium because it have greater mass than hydrogen but lower than phenyl. And this will be smaller. Now, according to rule number two, larger substituent is empty to carbonyl group. This carbon, uh, larger substituent is empty to a carbonyl group. Then, addition of the nucleophile in this case, methyl group will be added. To this carbonyl group according to the smaller substituent. If smaller substituent is below the plane, then addition of CH3 will be occurred below the plane. And if it is above the plane, then addition will be above the plane. Now, according to rule number three, if larger substituent is sin to carbonyl group, then attack of nucleophile will be according to medium substituent. Right, in this case, we have phenyl larger medium and smaller and this large substituent is uh, sent to carbonyl group means in same plane to a carbonyl group then addition of the phenyl in this case the nucleophile is phenyl phenyl will be added to the carbonyl group according to medium size substituent if medium size substituent is above the plane then addition of phenyl will be above the plane and it, if it is uh, below the plane then addition of the nucleophile will be below the plane now let's come to example number first. We have larger substituent NT to carbonyl group. Then addition of this nucleophile will be according to smaller size substituent. That is hydrogen and that is below the plane. So the addition of CH3 will be occur below the plane. And this oxygen will get negative, partial negative and will get hydrogen from the medium and get convert to hydroxyl group. They will be above the plane. We will have also this product possible which having OH below the plane and CH3 above the plane means opposite to this uh, rules. But this according to this rule the product is this. So practically this will be our major product and this product comes uh, through the rules so it is also called cream product. It is it follow Krems rules. Now example number two, if larger size substituent, this example is related to rule number three. In this case, the larger size substituent phenyl is sent to carbonyl group, means in same side to the carbonyl group. So according to the uh, rule number three, the addition of the nucleophile, in this case the phenyl, will be added according to the medium size substituent. If medium size substituent is uh, below the plane, then addition of phenyl will be occur below, below the plane. And the oxygen will convert to hydroxyl again. And this product is also possible which have a uh, hydroxyl group below the plane and phenyl above the plane. But this product comes from following the cream rules so this will be our major product
and this is also called creme product because it follows creme's rules so creme rules tells about the addition of the nucleophile and the stereochemistry of the product and we will we can also identify the major product and the minor product if it is asked so we will have these rules according to these rules we can identify the major product during a nucleophilic addition to carbonyl carbon which having alpha chiral center thank you